Now the last video we did, I showed you how to test a solenoid using this Armada Tech Tool to test it to see if it's good or not. Well in this video I'm going to show you, you can test this solenoid without one of those tools using just a good voltmeter. And you've got to have it at least where you can turn it to ohms. Any kind of meter you can test, test the ohms, you can test the solenoid that way and it's going to tell you if it's good or not. And this is the solenoid we're going to be testing today. Let me show you something. You know, there's different times when a zone goes bad or something happens to a particular zone. Sometimes it is the solenoid that goes bad. Sometimes it could be a wire issue or some other kind of water issue, but usually it's either electrical or a water issue. If you got water to the zone, but it's still not working, could be a cut wire. You've got to trace the wires sometimes for that. Could be a splice is bad. But it also could be that the solenoid just has gone bad. Well, I'm going to show you how to test it using a voltmeter today. And all you've got to make sure is that your voltmeter has ohms. And that's how we're going to test this solenoid. And a lot of guys in our industry, they call it ohming out. If you've ever heard that phrase, ohming out, this is what they're doing. And you can do it off the, at the controller, or if you take a solenoid out like I've done here today, you can test it right here just at the back of your truck. So I've got this solenoid that we took out. Like I said in the other video, if you haven't watched it yet, that's okay. Go, go check it out so you can check out that Armada tool. But this solenoid, I took it out and it was actually really hot, which let me know, man, there's something going on with the solenoid here and it's not another wire issue. So the first thing I did is I, I took it out and then I stripped back a little bit of wire here. And I just used a simple wire stripping tool, cut it, stripped it back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our voltmeter here. And I've got the black and red leads. So this is the solenoid I wanna test. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna click this to this little symbol right here. And that's the symbol for ohms. And ohms is gonna tell us what our resistance is and that's really what's gonna end up telling us if this solenoid is good or bad. So all you've gotta do, and you can hold this, it's not gonna shock you or anything, Hold one on your red lead, and one on your black lead. It doesn't matter which wire goes to red or black. And you see that number? It's jumping all over the place. That tells you right there that this solenoid is not good. It should have a good solid resistant number. And since there's not one, this solenoid is not good. So let me show you on a good solenoid what it's gonna look like throw this one away. So I've got a new solenoid. I've already stripped back the wire, so we're going to do the same test. I'm going to hold one on with the red lead, one on the black lead here. Now you see that 36.7? That's typically what this particular manufacturer on this particular solenoid, the resistance is and it's holding that number, that means this solenoid is good. So this is what it should be reading if you're, if you're doing it right here at the solenoid or even ohming out from the controller. Let's go back to this other one and show you. Now it's just saying, doing that. Now it's jumping all over the place. This solenoid is bad. That's simply how to test a solenoid of your sprinkler system to see if that solenoid is bad, if it's gone bad, see if one is good. You always want to test, if you're changing one out, you want to test both and make sure you're not putting a bad one back in. Especially you repair guys, I've done it before where you had just a bunch of stuff, put one in, well you ended up putting a bad one in. And so I'm going to show you a tip right here. When you take one out, this is something you need to do, a guy showed me. So this is that bad solenoid, a guy showed me this and I thought it was pretty good. Clip these wires off, so if you leave one in your truck or something and you see these wires clipped off obviously you can't use it that's going to tell you that this cylinder is no good don't use it throw it away when you get a chance kelly stacks here american irrigator trying to make you a better irrigator from a licensed irrigator to a licensed irrigator and homeowners alike check out one of our other videos i had to wire back in a good solenoid in a sprinkler system right here